Andre Agassi once said, I could live with losing, but I can't live without taking a chance. Fin fans up north, fin fans in the south, to the east, and to the west. What's better than this mo of this? Let's talk about it. Before we uh, dabble into this little subject here, I just want to say if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. It'll help us reach our milestone. And if you guys are already subscribers and you guys are getting the t-shirts since I see that people are getting, um, I want to say thank you. We love you guys very much. You're helping the community grow and it's all supporting the NFL and again, supporting our community of the Miami Dolphins. And with that, let's get to it. So, the game Sunday. <laughs> uh, from the start, that game was a very disheartening anemic game that game was ours to have won and we just didn't execute right we had piss poor play like right off the right off the rip first play of the game we lose Teddy B now uh, you know my thing is you know I, I always feel that you know everybody has an opinion and you know my opinion is that you know Skyler still he's still the man you know he's, he's still the quarterback um, however I don't think that uh, us losing you know Teddy B in that capacity was um, I guess warranted in a sense you know I, I didn't see him you know like grabbing his helmet or anything I don't know what that was about um, and not to say that we would have done anything different with Teddy um, it just uh, I don't know I just really wasn't feeling the energy with Teddy out there to begin with now with Skyler out there I felt that if, if, if the offensive line were to have been on point with their blocking then you know minus you know the a couple overthrows he had you know he's just getting into his rhythm you, you remember this, this the guy's a he's a rook and he's out there for the first time you know so this is kind of like new to him but he, he he's, he's absorbing it he's taking it in so there's gonna be some things he's gonna do that's gonna be um that's gonna be a mistake you, you gotta expect that out of any rookie coming into the game like that However, though, I think that, you know, when he had Armstead go out, I think the dynamics of that changed. I think, you know, when Little was in there, that Little was getting murdered, okay? Little Little was getting murdered, and Eichenberg wasn't helping any uh, with the offensive line blocking. I, I don't think Eichenberg and Little, you know, were at their best capacity during the game because... Both of them was getting blown up, but Little especially was getting, he was getting cooked over there. And when you have a quarterback that's being rushed, you know, from the right-hand side, and then, you know, you got people coming in on the left, and, and it's, he's not getting a chance to set up in the throw. Um, there is, uh, I think it was in the fourth quarter, he threw that pass to, uh, to Connor. And, you know, Connor got his hands on it. He just didn't bring it in, you know. And that was the first time Connor got into the game himself. You know, I understand there's going to be jitters like that. However, though, you know, when it's your chance, it's your chance to, it's your chance to shine. Um, you know, when, you know, we are looking at our, our run game. You know, the, the only thing about it is that the run game was pretty decent. You know, it wasn't great. It was decent, and you know, for the most part, um, Moser did, you know, a serviceable job. You know, and, and the thing about it was, though, at the end of the day, 
is the Jets outsmarted us. He outplayed the, the Jets outplayed our coaching. Basically, the Jets stayed in cover two the entire time, and they were gonna make us beat them with the quarterbacks that we had. Because they don't, the Jets don't fear Teddy B. They don't fear Skyler. And if Tua was there, they wouldn't fear Tua either. They'd play the same way. They'd play us in cover two, and so that we couldn't beat them over the top. So they kept, they kept all the receivers in front of them. And they was good with giving up little, you know, 10, 15 yard runs here and there. They was good with that because. They were just going to say, you're not going to beat us over the air. You're going to have to beat us with your quarterbacks, and you're going to beat us in the ground game. And they also didn't believe that our running game was dominant enough to cause them to come out of that cover, too. So, you know, we, we were like in a, we, we were behind the eight ball from the jump when we were trying to play the Jets game, who, in a sense, was playing our game but outsmarted us in that. We stuck to the run game thinking that, okay, well, we're just going to continue to run and we'll beat you with the run. And the Jets was like, go ahead, do that, because we're not going to give you anything over the top. And sure enough, that's what happened. They didn't give us nothing over the top, and they beat us at our game. They let Moser get whatever yards he got, and, you know, the Jets owned that. But see... Right there, that's because they outsmarted us and we weren't thinking. We weren't thinking. Like, go ahead, take the shots. Let's get the pass interference penalties that we were getting. You know, and, and all of a sudden it just stops. You know, and, and it, it's like, why? Because we're trying to open this up. And you, the only way to open that up, you got you to gotta take the shots over the top like that. You know, the run game was decent, but it would have been even better if you could open the open the top up and just 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 let it just let it rip now with our with our sloppy play you know look we had like five penalties for 49 yards and that was in the first quarter alone and it just got sloppier after that and again you know um Teron Armstead he went out because of his toe there's no telling when he's coming back or even if he's coming back. This could be one of them this could be one of them things where he has an injury on his on his toe where it could take him out for the rest of the year. You know, you, we just don't know yet. And you know, to have you know that happen to us and then you know, you got the you got the the, the blocking that was not there with Little and um, Eichenberg, I, it's just, right now, we are in a state of flux. Not in a state of panic, but just in a state of flux, because we, we really need for players to step up and, you know, fill the roles that they were supposed to be filling. Now, you know, that's all I'm going to say about the offense. You know, it's, we're just going to talk about the defense because you can tell right away off the rip that without at least one of our star cornerbacks that we were hurting. You know, Kodu out there, um, um, Brandon Jones and Holland. I mean, that's just what, that, that just wasn't enough. You know, that just was not enough. I think with Xavier out there, that would at least give us some type of edge. I mean, whether he would have got burnt or not, there still would have been that that dilemma, that hesitancy to, like, be striking it, you know, for, for Zach Wilson to be, you know, throwing to his receivers over in that area. Um, where Xavier, you know, mans the island. And, well, because it wasn't out there, the Jets felt every... Compelled, the, the, the Jets felt compelled to go ahead and exploit that, and that's exactly what they did. And when they did it, it's like you know, well, I don't say nobody was tackling. I mean, Kohu, he was out there tackling. Holland, you know, was doing tackling, but it it just seemed as if, like when you when you look at like what Eric Rowe was up there doing and Nick Nita, I, I I don't know. It, it just it just seemed like. 
it just, it, it didn't really seem like they was out there trying to stop anybody to me. I could be wrong, it just didn't, I just didn't pick that up, I, I just didn't pick that energy up. You know, like, the defensive line, you know, they were there, um, they, 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 they did their best to, you know, um, stop a couple runs and, you know, press um, Zach a little bit, but did they really stop the runs? Because Brees Hall, I mean, <laughs> Our defensive line, you know, it was like letting Brees Hall just run through it. But then, too, it's like, you know, we we uh, we played like zone. We played zone a lot. And, you know, that was kind of unusual. That was kind of unusual because there was really no pressure. And when the pressure was there, we were shutting the run down. And, you know, Zach was flustered but then it was like we was in the zone thing and that whole zone scheme just doesn't work with our defense it never has and I, I, I understand you know we can't keep blitzing all game but we got to figure out something else out because zone doesn't work with the type players that we have obviously it didn't work last season and trying to do it now it's still not working so I don't know it's it was um, it was it was disheartening. I'm not gonna lie. It was it was a disheartening loss. You know, with with the Bengals, the Bengals. I felt you know that win was a win that we could have got like straight up. With this one, with this, with this loss right here, I felt like we just got beat. We just got beat soundly by the Jets, and they tied the head to head up. Now we're both at what. Uh, 56, 56, 56, and 1, and, you know, we got another meeting with them again this season, and this time it'll be in Miami, and hopefully we can get Waddle in there doing the Waddle dance to the Jets, sitting there mocking him, and, you know, I kind of felt embarrassed for us because this was happening like that, and it, it's like we had no answer, and we are a better team than that, a, a lot better team than that, and not just on paper. So, you know, I, you know, I, <laughs> I'm not even going to, you know, go into it anymore. I mean, Jason, he missed his kick, you know, his field goal. Um, yeah, it was, it was, it was disheartening. It was disheartening all the way through, but I don't know. Look, if you guys have any, um, questions, comments, please let them, let me know below. If you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. It's going to help us reach our milestone. If you guys are already subscribers, I want to say thank you for being a subscriber and also grabbing some t-shirts because it's really helping us out. We're just trying to do something fun here in this community. And, you know, at the same time, you know, show some support for the NFL because all of us are fans of the NFL. We just have different teams that we love. And with all that, I just want to say thank you guys. Love y'all. Deuces. All right, so football seasons begin, and what we're going to be doing is um, we're going to be starting Thursday. This Thursday here, or actually every Thursday, is we're going to be doing our odd and gamble. And basically, the odds are going against the gamble. And these are two characters I created. You know, odd is a card. He's an ace card. And gamble is a house poker chip. And basically, these two pit against each other. And how it works is that the odds you know, of our team winning is pretty much predicated by the the things that are happening, like with the players, with the weather, with the field, and anything that's not, um, you know, predicated to the house. So, those are the odds, okay? And the gamble is, what what's the casino saying? You know, what is, like, um, um, all the betting sightseeing so that that's the house and that's gamble so every week we're gonna go by game by game you guys choose you know what are the odds that the dolphins are gonna win or is it a gamble that the dolphins are gonna win with the, you know what they're saying against each other so you just choose odd or just choose gamble and you know i'll do the rest and then sunday before kickoff you know like 
you know, an hour before kickoff, I'll, you know, give the results of who's winning, okay? So that's how we're going to do that. So Odd and Gamble starting this week. And, you know, every Sunday I'm going to um, drop the results for that, okay? Good deal. So let's have some fun this season. And, you know, we're 1-0. and So let's have some fun this season. And let's try to get to the Super Bowl. Fin fans up north, fin fans in the south, to the east, and to the west. What's better than this mo of this? Let's talk about it. Don't forget to take a look at our gear. Um, click with the fin fan. You can check out the links uh, below. And also know that uh, your support with this um, helps our artists and it also helps uh, what we're doing here uh, with clicking with the fin fin and um, the good thing about it all is uh, you also get free shipping with that so just uh, take a look at the gear that we got um, grab something for you your boots and you know, your kids whatever and um, help support what we're doing here and we appreciate it a lot thank you